NetApp and Juniper have worked together for quite some time because the interop between uh, the network and the storage layer is so critical for the data center. And one of the things that we've been so excited about has been the ability to run all protocols for storage and the connectivity on one fabric. And that's really what QFabric brings to the market today. We started it two years ago and two separate data centers, one in the New York area, one in the London area. Both of them are fairly large ones. They're around uh, almost half a million square feet raw each one. And uh, we went shopping for a new network, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, after about a year's worth of research, we wound up with uh, Juniper. Great. And we've been working together ever since. The, uh, I'm happy to say both data centers are up and running. Uh, the New York Classic Market, the one you see on TV every morning, is running 100% out of that new data center in New Jersey on Juniper Fabric. Well, we've been dealing with fabrics for the last 15 years or so. And that's one of the ways we build a supercomputer, is to be able to take commodity processors and bring them together to act as a single system. And QFabrics uh, will be able to enable us to do something like that, but do it across a network uh, based on Ethernet. There are a number of different things that are driving the need to make changes in the way that data centers are architected. So performance is one, for sure, and that you can never get away from that uh, within the infrastructure. But efficiency is another big thing in driving out costs and driving out waste. Uh, and then the other thing is trying to take advantage of uh, connectivity so that you can really scale uh, your operation to uh, a much larger level. And so the combination of those things is what's driving these changes, this kind of once in a generation ability to change your architecture. And that's really what uh, QFabric uh, is trying to accomplish, is enable that, that kind of evolution. We've been driving latency out of our network interconnects for the last 10 years or so. And it's very key if you're going to harness uh, a couple of thousand computers uh, to work on a single problem. You have to remove the latency out of the computer to do it. And really, the network is becoming part of the computer. Uh, obviously, the price we charge for trade is one of the uh, metrics. And the other thing that's a very important metric is the speed of execution, how fast we can execute a trade. For us, that translates to latency. Uh, it used to be that network latency wasn't terribly relevant because you had slow, relatively slow servers and programmers, and it would take seconds to execute a trade. Now that's well below one millisecond, and now the network component of the latency is one of the driving factors in terms of the speed of execution. So we need to drive the network speed down, the latency down tremendously.